Hey, hey, it's Aran here. In this tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your custom domain connected with system IL, but more specifically, after you download the integrations, how you actually make your website go live. So I'm going to share my screen and show you how it's done. So I assume that at this stage, you've already connected your domain name by clicking on this button, add domain, adding the URL, and then going through the steps. Now, if you haven't, somewhere around here is the tutorial for you to watch first before watching this one. So watch that one first and then come back here. Now, assuming you've connected your domain name and all that, we're going to pick this domain name, which is Affiliate Startup Community. Now, when you click on this, you will notice that it's going to give you a 404 error page. Now, this is going to look like there is an error here, but actually, when you see this link, you know you have correctly integrated the domain name to System.io. There is simply nothing actually added to this page yet. So it's showing a 404 error page, but it is connected. So now what do you do from this point to be able to show the website that you are building or have built? There are three options. You can hover over websites and see what they are. Option number one is to create a blog which in this case really means a website. Option number two is to add it to a sales funnel. Option number three is to create a digital store. So I'm gonna walk you through each of these and explain the differences and what would be the best option for you depending on what it is you're trying to do. So option number one, digital stores. If you want to just have some sort of a link tree, this will be your best option. So I'm going to click right here on digital store and you can see that I have this particular digital store, which is like a link tree, very similar to Stan store or one of those tools. So I'm going to paste this one in just so you can see what it looks like as the final result. This is the one for daily desk fitness and you can see the structure of this particular link tree. So that's option number one. You would use this feature. Now the way you do that, is you're going to do something like this and I'm just going to give it a demo. You'll choose the domain name, which in this case is Affiliate Startup Community, and then you will click on Save. Now, when you refresh this page, you're going to see it becomes the link tree. Now, obviously, we didn't actually add anything to the link tree, so let's do that. Add a section, link to an external URL, and let's just put in here around dot link forward slash 197 bonus, let's say, which is my affiliate link for System.io where I share all my bonuses. I'm going to click on publish just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to click here. I'm going to refresh. And now you will see something here. So this is option number one to create a digital store. Now, I actually don't want this option, so I'm actually going to delete it. So I'm going to hover over here. I can click on deactivate if I'm not sure. It's not going to delete it. It just will take it offline. And you will know that's the case because this check mark is now no longer green. Now, if I refresh this again, you will see I get this default 404 error page. Now, I'm going to delete this completely because I don't want this option at all. And I'm going to show you the next option. Next option is when you hover over and you will click on sales funnels. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on create. You can choose either build audience, sell, run evergreen webinar or a custom. In my case, I pretty much exclusively always just choose custom because then I can just build it from scratch. Now, what I do here, again, I'll do demo and then you can choose the final domain. Now, in my case, I'm going to drop down. I'm going to find affiliate startup community. You will choose your currency of whatever you see you want to sell, whatever dollar value, maybe it's something else, maybe it's Australian dollars, maybe it's Canadian dollars or whatever. Then you're going to click on save. Now you're going to click right here to demo and you will see there are no pages yet. So if I was to refresh this page, it's still going to be an error. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add step and I'm going to, in this case, let's just pretend that your website is not ready and you want to build an email list or you want to get people to subscribe while you're building the website, like some sort of wait list, like you're doing some pre-launch or whatever. You can do something like waitlist, then you will choose squeeze page, then you will click on save. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to just pick a random template. It doesn't really matter. And then you're going to have a look. If I refresh, you will notice there is still nothing here. That's because I want you to pay attention that right now, the domain name, this one you see at the very top is not matching what you see here. So what I need to do is I need to delete what's here, like so, 
and then you will click anywhere around this page, doesn't really matter, and you'll notice this becomes green with a little check mark. That automatically saves it. There's no save button, it auto saves. Now, if I go here and I'm gonna click on refresh, you're going to see that that squeeze page that I chose is going to appear. Three, two, one, refresh, and here it is, exactly like I set it up. I'm gonna go back. And I'm just going to show you quickly how to set up a waitlist page in case that's what you wanted. And I'm actually going to give you the template for it. If you go to aramhukai.com forward slash SIO, you'll be able to get the waitlist page. And I'll show you which one. So first of all, I'm just going to delete everything that's here because I prefer to start from scratch. I'm going to go to blocks. I'm going to click on my blocks. I'm going to search for the word wait list. I'm going to click right here. And this is what a wait list page would look like. So I will basically leave it exactly like that. And with here, you will see that there is already a submit form. You will set it up so it goes to the next page and so on. Again, if you were to go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO and click on enter, you will see this page and when you enter your email address check this button and click i'm ready it will automatically send you a six part video series with the templates to be able to download so everything i've just shown you with creating a funnel and all that stuff you don't have to do any of that you literally click one button and you will have the squeeze page the waitlist page and the thank you page already all you gotta do is change the text change the colors and you'll be sweet so now that I've added this waitlist page, I'm going to get out of this and notice that the URL is the way it's supposed to be. Now when I click here and click on refresh, you will see that it will automatically change the way it's supposed to change. Now, of course, you got to add the thank you page, all that good stuff. But the point is that this URL is now live and it's connected to whatever it is that I built. Now, let's just say I'm going to add any letters or whatever. It doesn't really matter what I add. As soon as I do, there is officially nothing connected here. There is nothing on this domain name. So I'm going to click again and it's going to disappear. So that's why it's really important to know this is the URL path you need to adjust and decide what you want to do with this. Option number three is when you hover over and you would click on blogs. Now this is actually going to create a sort of a website for you. So I'm going to click on create. I'm going to choose affiliate startup community demo and I'm not going to type anything here. Now there is a lot of templates and stuff like that. In this case, I'm just going to choose this one for demonstration purposes. Now I'm going to click on save and here it is. Now I'm going to click into the blog and the blog homepage is always going to be found under pages and you will see it right here. If I was to click on this right here, you're going to see what it's going to look like inside the editor. And this is what I downloaded in terms of a template. So I'm going to exit. And now I'm going to refresh this page and I will see the exact same template. Here we go. Exactly the same. Now, of course, I did not customize anything or anything like that. So I am going to remove it. But these are the three options that are available to you. Digital store, sales funnel, and a blog slash website. Now there is another bonus option that I want to share with you and I would recommend you would use the sales funnel feature to be able to set it up. Let me show you what it is. The last option is to redirect your domain name using a software called linkredirect.io. I explained that in this particular tutorial. You will see it somewhere around here to be able to see in detail how it works. So now that I've shown you the options, which one should you choose? If you are brand new to funnels, landing pages, system IO, it's all new to you, I really recommend just go to the digital store and start there. It's simple enough. You'll be able to get the hang of it pretty quickly and you'll have something live like that. Recommended that you share some sort of an affiliate link there Maybe it's a link to join your newsletter or something along these lines. Have it all there. I have a tutorial somewhere around here on digital stores you can check out. That's my recommendation. If you want to start setting things up the right way from the get-go and start to build an email list, 
I truly recommend you go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO and download my two page template. And I've got six part video series that's gonna walk you through in extreme detail and simplicity how to set it up so your domain is connected and all that stuff. So aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. If you're a little bit more advanced, you already know you wanna build your entire website on System.io, feel free to use the blog feature, but I only recommend you build your blog first so it's ready to go live. And only once you've done that and you have your website ready to go, only then you connect your domain name to the website you've built. So even if you were to choose that option, I still recommend you have that waitlist page, just like I said. So aramcry.com forward slash SIO. That's why I created that particular freebie. You can check it out. That's about it. Really appreciate you watching. If you have another tutorial you want to record, please leave a comment below for me. I would love to know for you what questions you have. That's about it. Really appreciate you. Speak to you soon. Cheers.